Today I have to glue my tubeless tires so that I can race them for mission crit. It's Wednesday. Oh no, it's not. It's Tuesday. Shit. When you don't have a real job. It's Tuesday and I'm racing mission crit on Saturday. I still haven't glued my tubeless wheels. So today I'm gonna attempt to do that alone. Hoping there'll be a friend here to at least keep me company so that while I'm struggling and cursing in the front yard, it's not just my neighbors listening to me. I'm nervous. I've gotten a lot of advice from different people. So let's see how this goes. Where'd you get them? In Berlin, Germany. Really? Fingers crossed. This is Quadney. She's not been on the vlog yet, but Hello. she should be all the time. Ask her over here. It's just, just chilling in the living room. It's like all the humans are on the floor. <laughs> And the cats are uh, on the furniture. What's up, Team Nonstop? It is high noon. I shouldn't be doing a video outdoors, but it's nice and warm, and I've got some tires here. I'm gonna go on a rim, and now I'm gonna show you prepping my crit wheels. Erwin is our event and team sponsor this year, and they sent us our wheels. Fun part, getting the tire on. Line up the logo of the tire with the valve. I actually absolutely hate doing tires on rims when they're super, super tight. It sucks. Sometimes I'm perfectly willing to pay that $14 that is shop charges to fix your flat. Now I'm just gonna put the whole entire tire bead on where I might curse a little bit. Sometimes in like a bike messenger championship, they have you fix a flat as part of the race. And I'm not one of those fast flat fixers, as you can see. Let's go. Yeah, did it. It's on. All right, so tire's on. All right, here goes nothing. I put the tire on the rim already, so I'm just gonna pour the sealant in and pump it up and hope for the best. I got my soapy water, let's get started. I have gotten the tire already on the wheel and I'm gonna try the method of putting the sealant through the valve core. I don't have the specific tool to take the valve core off, so I'm gonna use some pliers. Maybe I'm using some pliers. Come on, use it, pull it, yank it. I kinda like wanna just do it the old school way of like pouring it in. Trying to get the valve core we're off right now. No! <laughs> Lost in our 10 feet tall grass. <laughs> Seriously though, no small pieces in the grass. It's a wishbone, bully! There we go, yeah. Now, can I do it? Sick. On the one that I have ready. So there was another video we watched that was by the brand of the sealant. Seems pretty legit, right? You watched the brand video for the sealant that you're using. Should have done this prior putting the tire on. Okay, this isn't gonna work. So we'll do the valve core method on the other wheel. This is like a comedy video. This is not a how-to. Watch Kim do this for the first time. Fuck my life. <laughs> so my buddy Kel was telling me to keep the tires out in the sun to soften them so that they would be easier to manage. And so far, I gotta say, that's pretty good advice. Oh, these what are you doing with that? There's nothing in there. There's no ceiling in there yet. This is ridiculous. I want you to know I got this tire on all by myself. She's this strong. Is why we don't do our nails ever. I don't know why the tire looks damaged, doesn't it? There. Ah, that's it. Hercules, Hercules. Ah, when Juliet was doing it in her video, she popped it on the wheel so much easier. I can't even get this off. I kind of like half want to like go back to the trying to pour it through the valve method. I just got to get the valve off. I don't have the right tool. No, it's perfect because then people who do it from home, they see this, they're like, oh, I, I got a ratchet. Ratchet? I got a ratchet. Yeah, you can do Pliers. it. Pliers. <laughs> I'm just like, Wait. oh, the brakes were uh, fucked up. <laughs> I got it. You. I got the valve core out. Uh, oh, sorry. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get this tire back on. <laughs> Learning curve. Somebody's got to do it themselves or else they're never going to learn. We have our soapy water. I'm going to soap up the rim. This is our dishwashing uh, sponge. Oh, we need a new one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that is our dishwashing sponge. Oh. <laughs> Bye. This is what happens when you live with a bunch of cyclists in your house, nothing is sacred. Oh, I thought that's what the cats were for, to clean the dishes. <laughs> I know, don't you wish? That is all soaked up. So it comes with this little thing on it. I watched Juliet's video, she did not use this. I watched the video for this guy, Orange Seal. I'm wearing some crappy sweatpants right now so that I can get this everywhere. He said, hold this at three o'clock, right? Now the question is, how do you know how much is 30 milliliters? Okay, so this is 237 milliliters, and I'm supposed to put 30 milliliters in. I guess uh, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Uh, just gonna ease it on. That's what she said. <laughs> we knew that joke was coming eventually. <laughs> Tell me when you think I've gotten to 30 milliliters. Let's take a guess. One milliliter, two milliliter, One. three milliliter, two. four milliliter. I have no idea. I really have no idea. You know what happened to Juliet. Shut up right now. I need encouragement. You got this. You got this. <laughs> 
him. See, that wasn't so messy. Whoa! <laughs> Fling it around. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh shit, it's working! Woo! What are we at? We're at 40? Okay. Stop, stop. I gotta check the bead now, apparently. Yo, we did okay. it. Yeah, now I would Yo, it. homie, we did it. I really thought this was gonna be way harder. Dang, that was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. I totally thought this was gonna be like the hardest thing ever. The thing is, I have no idea how much sealant is enough sealant. Hold up, if this is 237 <laughs> milliliters, I used a quarter of the bottle. Solid. It's probably enough sealant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep blowing it up. Let's see what we got here. How hard do you like your top? Get it up to 100 <laughs> if you can. I do know with tubeless, an important thing is keeping this little thing uh, tight with my handy dandy uh, pliers. I'd I don't be see more any... concerned about the road being not set. <laughs> <laughs> You're worried about me getting a flat. That's the whole point of running tubeless is that if you get a flat, the sealant seals it up. So shout out to Golden Saddles who I brought these wheels to and was like, hey, can you glue these for me? And they were like, homie, these wheels are tubeless ready, which by tubeless ready, that meant the rim has double layers of tape already and it comes with the valve. And so all I have to do is put the tire on and put the glue in. So shout out to Golden Saddles who told me to do it my damn self. Thank you for empowering a woman. And to my buddy Kel who told me to put the tires in the sun to soften them. Big help there. I think we did it. Yo, yeah. All right. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. No. I gotta throw this on you. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Did it. I don't even have any glue on my clothes. Well guys, that's it for my um, tubeless. I was expecting this to be a fail video. I'm a pretty shit mechanic, so I was expecting this to be a total fail video. I am pleasantly surprised that is not. My wheels are holding air, and I will give you an update if anything changes. Um, that was minimal mess. Those are the only and I didn't even get any on my clothes even though I dressed for the occasion I was ready to get it all over me and even the sponge is pretty clean I'd say that's a success I'm Kim not stop thanks for watching this video I hope it was helpful and if it wasn't at least it was entertaining all right the Sun is blinding me I will see you here next week every week on YouTube I'm Kim not stop like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already what are you waiting for and join my patreon team do it now bye